Okay, welcome to PJ's Garden, episode four of PJ's Garden. Today I'm gonna show you some of the herbs that I'm planting. Uh, on this um, table here, uh, we have uh, some of the purple basils. Uh, purple basil, these are wonderful, uh, like all basils that are good. And then you have some basils at the back here from Guyana. They call them Mard Mar Pope. So he is a Mard Mar Pope. This is a real stuff. Uh, here we have some celery and uh, we have uh, some parsley here. These, I need to put these on the ground uh, pretty soon uh, because um, the reason why they're not on the ground yet because of the uh, space. I need some more land as, I, as, as, as you all know. Uh, and then you have these lemongrass, not a herb so it's particular, but lemongrass is something called fever grass. Uh, these are used uh, for tea and they help um, uh, to reduce fever and inflammation. They're very good. Lemongrass, people say it's good for COVID. I don't know, but here, yeah, it's good to, for drinking. Wonderful tea. This is a type of thyme, um, tick leaf thyme, but it is, the leaves are small, not like the, the broader leaves that we uh, sometimes accustomed to these tick leaf thyme. Okay. Oh, so let's move across here. I have some thick leaf thyme in the front. Uh, I, I, I will show you that a little later. Here we have uh, the fine leaf thyme. Okay, uh, these are good for season. We have food. Uh, I won't open the gate to get in, uh, but we have some of these fine leaf thymes. These are pretty, mm, smell really good. And um, it's uh, season your pot when they make it. some rice and peas. I put some of this in there and I make some chow mein. You cut it up really fine and you put it in that chow mein, give you wonderful flavor. Fine leaf thyme. Uh, these stay on the ground here. That, that area there, these are all fine leaf thyme in there. Uh, they survive the winter. So they, 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 they will slow down and they grow during the winter. But in the spring, they'll come up back and so I've had these for like 50, almost 15 years. Um, they'll be getting bigger and bigger every, every year. The, the, the fine leaf thymes, wonderful herb for seasoning your food, give you wonderful flavor. Okay, so let's come inside here. I have some additional herbs, uh, seasoning for your food. Okay, um, you come in here. I don't know if um, peppers wouldn't uh, come to the seasoning, but there we have the real reed pepper. We spoke about this before, uh, three plants. I normally plant um, real reed pepper. I have some on the table at the back there, uh, and those will start producing in September. And then I put them the pots inside they survive, uh, to, to survive the winter. I keep them indoors, and then I bring them out and plant them on the ground in the spring so that I'll have them, they produce all the way through uh, the summer and uh, we have those we repepper for seasoning in this row we have these uh, uh, skillion or el shallot or shive uh, whatever you want to call it spring onion green onions there are many different names for them so this is an entire bed of these uh, herbs uh, for seasoning uh, that we use to, to season the pot wonderful I uh, normally plant quite a bit and I, I will get some and grind them up um, in my uh, food processor uh, with some basil, um, thyme, sometimes I put some garlic and so on and make that season that I keep in the freezer, some in the fridge uh, and it lasts me all year. I've seasoned to season my food all year. So all these, these are the uh, chive or uh, skillion or green onion etc spring onion so that's the other herb that I have here uh, wonderful for seasoning these, these smell really good when when, when when you um when you cut them up uh, sometimes you, you have a lot of them together it will start burning your eyes just like like onions when you start cutting them up they, they, they're wonderful and here we have the basil okay uh, we have a set of basil here I've already made a set of seasoning already. Uh, these are the sweet basil. It's not the marmalade pork that we have in Guyana, uh, but they are wonderful uh, to season your pot. Okay, cook your food. Oh yeah, sweet basil, wonderful. 
So this is a row of sweet basil. This one is not a sweet basil. This is a um, bhaji, just grow by itself. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of those around, uh, but those are the wonderful ones. And here we have, this, this is the mar mar pork, it's a basil. Uh, basil, but it's, a, it's a, the one that we find in Guyana, in the Caribbean. It's pretty strong, it smells stronger than these sweet basil. And these are the herbs that I have in my garden. They have the basil, you have the skillion, the shrive, there's green onions, you have the thyme, you have the, I have the parsley and the celery. Those are the, oh, I have a, a couple of celery in the, in the corn here. So these, um, they're struggling, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but these are some celery. And I need a spot to, uh, uh, when I uh, reap those beans, uh, pull out those beans, which are finishing on the other side. I'll put some of the parsley down there. So I'll have them, they last through the winter too. So I'll have those parsley to help season my food. Okay, thank you very much for watching episode four, PJ's Garden. Bye.